squad and welcome back to another video so today i'm gonna be showing you guys seven adopt me life hacks that you wish you knew earlier but thanks to me you're gonna find out the seven adopt me life hacks now without further ado enjoy the video life hack number one never and i mean never buy these pets for like 200 550 robux 500 robux again 600 don't buy them because it's not worth it because you can literally give a ride potion for them they're worth actually less than a ride potion at this point so just don't buy them and find another way to get them the only reason you should be buying them is because you want to make a neon because they're new so don't even if you want to make a neon don't buy them unless they're brand new they just came out like a second ago, and you're making a neon to trade it. That is the only reason you would ever want to buy them. I actually have a trade somewhere, and I'm going to show you guys what I did when the neon lamps first came out. It was a really good trade. Okay, there it is. Um, I'm about to click on it, but... There it is. I'm making a voiceover. So, but that is the neon, that's that that's the trade that I did, and it, it's really good. Like that's worth a bunch of neon legendaries. That is worth that is worth my friends like three decent neon legendaries altogether. That whole trade because I can definitely get a neon legendary for a good one for a flowered kangaroo, a flowered frost furry, a rideable bear, and two Cerberuses, and I could probably get a neon legendary for the for a neon red panda and the other neons. So yeah. That was a really good trade. Life hack number two is always add your best pets first. Because this isn't really my fault. It's a toxic Adami community's fault. Is that nobody's going to be waiting for you to finish adding all your pets. If you're about to add like a koala and then you and then you add like, um I don't know, red panda. The person will automatically think you're not adding anything better than the koala and the red panda. Even though you are probably supposed to add like, I don't know, a neon golden dragon for example after that. But they didn't even know because they declined. Always add your best pets first. Life hack number three. This is similar to the first one, but it is not the first one at all, so keep watching. Never spend your money on game passes, such as like a magic door, for example, or like ice cream truck, because those are, those are pretty bad things, and like royal carriages too. But most importantly, don't buy the play custom music at home using a radio DJ for 350 Robux, because you can open another tab on YouTube on your computer and listen to whatever music you want there while playing Adopt Me. It's even better because play custom music at your home, so when you're outside of your house in Adopt Me, you won't even hear that custom music. But when you have another tab open, you will. So it's not worth it. And if you're playing on phone, then there's always Spotify. Or, I don't know, just find another device. There's another solution. But don't, please don't spend 350 Robux. I understand if it was 50 Robux maximum because you want to, like, I don't know, introduce people to your house or something and play music. But no, not 350. Please don't buy it. A Game Pass instead that I recommend buying is premium slots. It's a really good Game Pass, especially for me who likes to age up pets. Life hack number four. Never, and I mean never, when you're going to the campsite, buy the lodge for 200 cash. Instead, what you could do is you could go up to the door, turn around and press on the bed and press like sleep and then go to sleep and then boom, you're inside the lodge and to leave, you just touch the door and you could also pick up your pets. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Just don't buy it. You could glitch inside of it if you really want to go. The only reason that you want to buy it is if you're role playing, as I said, and also don't buy the s'mores because... It's $5, but again, I'm going to say, if you like to roleplay, then go ahead and buy the s'mores for $5. Because I like to take the marshmallows for free, since I don't roleplay that much, and I age up my pets. Life hack number five. By the way, by life hack, I mean adopt me hack. But don't buy VIP, because me, I bought VIP. And it's not worth it, unless you're trying to get every single game pass and adopt me like I am. But still, uh, don't buy it. Unless you want to show off your name tag or whatever. Because VIP, I'm going to find it over here real quick. 400 Robux gives you VIP room access, exclusive limo, VIP chat tag, and 100 bucks. 100 bucks is not worth VIP or 400 Robux. VIP chat tag is just if you want to show off. VIP room access, I will show you that guys in a second. An exclusive limo which you can't even trade and it's ultra rare. I know it's a nice car. I know it's big and a lot of people could fit inside of it. But it's not worth 400 Robux, as I said, and I'm going to about to show you guys the VIP, the VIP room access in a second.
Okay, so this is the VIP room. Um, for those of you who never seen it before, but that's how it looks like. Um, you could get free water, free ham, free popcorn and stuff, but it doesn't even last if you leave the server. It's gonna disappear from your inventory. So that's not worth it what's cool though is that in your inventory and when you trade someone and you put the food in the trade it's gonna say vip popcorn or like vip ham and that's i guess pretty cool and people probably scammed some people that way but yeah as you can tell it says vip popcorn and it's gonna say that in the trade too if you're gonna trade someone that's pretty much the vip room there's nothing special to it life hack i think it's like number six um don't spend your money well actually no spend money on the ocean eggs it's worth it i do that all the time but whenever there's a new egg an example is the ocean eggs whenever there's a new egg buy a bunch okay save up your money because you there's gonna be a new egg coming up save up your money and buy a bunch because as soon as there's a new egg people who didn't save up their money are not gonna have one and they will give you a legendary pet and I mean a good one like a king bee for the brand new egg my friend traded her ocean egg the day it came out for a king bee other friend traded it for a kitsu another friend traded an ocean egg for a t-rex another friend traded it. one time i got offered a dodo for my ocean egg but i was hatching them and i was really busy doing that and i'm a youtuber who just likes to hatch eggs so i don't trade them but you really should and yeah life hack number seven and the last life hack i'm going to be telling you guys today is that if you have a lot of robux or you're just porn adopt me and you have some robux maybe um or just in general whenever there's a sale or maybe if there isn't but sales are better um buy four ride potions and trade them for like and trade each of them for like a king bee a dodo or a t-rex or something um i'm gonna use a king bee for an example because that's what i did so you get four king bees right yeah and then you make a neon and this is also if you have a lot of time but if you're poor then you definitely should have a lot of time in adopt me you make a neon king bee and then you trade it for four king bees and better ads or just you trade it you make a neon king bee have a neon legendary make neon legendaries make them it is worth it you definitely need to make neon, neon legendaries you make it you have a neon king bee i traded my neon king bee not once but twice for i traded one of my neon king bees for nine dodos which it equals to um two neon dodo birds and an extra dodo so that's really good and you could hit a neon dodo bird for like a neon king bee and do that again and you just keep doing it again and eventually you're gonna go up to some really good pets like a neon kangaroo and then you'll go up to a neon owl and then maybe even you'll go up to a neon giraffe and eventually in like i don't know a lot of time you might even go up to a mega giraffe or a mega shadow but that's that's um, that's that's a little too far um but yeah you keep making neons keep trading them it is really worth it and i highly recommend doing that and that was it for the video i hope you enjoyed and those are my seven life hacks bye v squad before i go i'd also love to mention this beautiful fan art Thank you, Seeky YouTube, for this fan art. I cannot thank you enough. Like, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'll show you guys what to do if you want to make fan art or if you made it for me and you want to see, if you want me to see it. Use a hashtag edit for Vichkin if you want to make an edit for me or a fan art for me. Um, just use that. If you want to make anything, if you want me to see anything, like if you make a video literally about me or just anything about me, then hashtag edit for Vichkin. If it's fan art, if it is an edit, or if it's if it's like you meeting me or something, if it's just a video you want me to see, then hashtag edit for Vichkin and I will probably see it. Um, yeah, thank you again, and I love it when you guys make fan arts. I'm actually gonna make a competition. Whoever makes the best fan art is gonna win like maybe a neon toucan or something. I'm gonna make a competition. I'm gonna stay tuned for that.